UH-1A armed helicopter. The UH-1A crew consists of pilot and to his left the gunner co-pilot with a crew chief and a gunner at the ammunition trays as loaders. Armed with M2 automatic carbines, they cover the areas not swept by the fixed mount machine guns. Using this field expedient, they have been surprisingly effective and credited with several kills. The UH-1A's two fixed mount 30 caliber machine guns are mounted forward on the skids, one on each side. They are fired through an electro solenoid by the pilot. However, it had become evident early in the Vietnam type of operation that the target was not so much enemy soldiers as an area of vegetation in which enemy soldiers were skillfully hidden, rising to fire, then disappearing into dense cover. The fixed machine gun could not be depended upon to saturate such an area with lethal fire. The weapon needed here was the rocket, which would fragment and make any part of an area untenable. Accordingly, 16 launchers to fire the 2.7 rocket were installed on the UH-1A, eight to each side, so mounted on the skids that they fired to the side of the machine guns. This was done at Okinawa by local ordinance there before the aircraft were moved to Southeast Asia. The rocket has proved an ideal weapon for the armed helicopter. It deals most effectively with the Viet Cong in their favorite maneuver, the ambush. A combined machine gun and rocket run on an area smashes the hide and seek tactics of the guerrilla enemy. The UH-1B armed helicopter. When the UH-1B arrived from its manufacturer in the United States, it was apparent that its machine gun armament was designed for effective fire at all angles. Four traversable M60 machine guns had been provided, two for each side. They fire the NATO 7.62 round. The gunner co-pilot aims and fires through a movable type sight with a trigger set in the handle. This is the 7.62 machine gun system known in the Army as the XM6 kit. The guns can be traversed 70 degrees to either the right or left of the aircraft. Also, they traverse up and down so that if necessary, they can fire directly beneath the aircraft. But while the UH-1B's machine gun system was a tremendous improvement over that of the UH-1A's, a rocket system was lacking. This weapon, overwhelmingly successful against the Viet Cong, was installed on the UH-1B after its arrival in Vietnam. Adapting the 1A system, 16 rocket launchers were emplaced on the 1B by local ordinance, eight on each side. As with the 1A, the 2.75 is the rocket ammunition of the UH-1B. So with the UH-1A's 16 rockets and two fixed machine guns, and the UH-1B's 16 rockets and four traversable machine guns, these armed helicopters were now ready and able to carry the fight to the hundreds of communist cells maintained by the Viet Cong in jungle, forest, and delta. <laughs> 